everybody, welcome back. Today we are doing a fun new game. This is called The Spiral Scouts. And this is another game that was sent to me by the developers to check out for you guys. So this is another episode of Developer Dump. Um, and if anybody wants to do art for that, I highly welcome it. I will use that in the title screen of this. Um, but this game, like I said, was sent to me by the game developer. It says that they recommend an Xbox One. I mean, Xbox 360 slash one or PlayStation uh, three or four controller. So I have an Xbox controller hooked up to it. Uh, and it says that this is by Mario Velardita and Ryan Coons with music by Jonathan Wendag. Uh, so thanks for sending me the game, guys. Like I said, I'm not getting paid for this video, but they did send me the game for free to check out for you guys. Um, and I know that this is by the creator of uh, Honey Cam or Honey Cam and Honey Pop or Honey Pop, however you want to pronounce those. I'm not even sure anymore. Everybody says it differently. Um, which are huge hits on this channel, probably like the biggest playthroughs I've ever done on this channel. Uh, so I'm really excited to play this game. I hope it's just as fun and addicting as those games are. I still play Honey Cam or Honey Cam to this day. Like, I play that game all the time. I love it, it's so addicting. Check out that playthrough if you want. And I should also add that if you'd like to uh, help support this channel, the way it's staying alive these days is not from YouTube revenue because YouTube hates my channel, uh, but it's through merchandising. And I have some new Kitty Cat Gaming socks um, and stickers and all kinds of fun stuff in my store. It's at psychiccircleoddities.com and I'll have the link down below as well. But let's get started. Uh, there is no current file, so there's nothing to delete. I've never played this game. I really don't know what to expect. I don't even know if it's like a hentai game, considering that the creators did hentai games before. So I'm really just curious about what kind of game this is going to be. What's happening? Oh my god, we're adorable! Is that a moon next to us? What is that? Oh my god, this is really cute. It's our hair. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay. Ooh. Fancy. Some Legend of Zelda shit right here. Let's see. Uh, the doors won't budge. All right. Well, let's find a key, I guess. Is there a puzzle here? How come the runes on the other side were glowing and these ones aren't? Oh. Okay. So maybe we have to make them look exactly the same as the other side? Wow, there's so many different symbols. What an interesting way to introduce a new mechanic. Well, those are all Roman symbols and these seem way different. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Oh, this looks like it's maybe... Okay, so this is our guide. So one is this, two is this symbol, three is this, four is this. Five is blank, and six is this. Okay, so I think we're trying to replicate these numbers on this side according to what they spell out. Okay, so let's skip the first one because I don't think that we have, well, that's six, so let's do that. Do they have that symbol on here? Let's see. I mean, I'm just pulling this out of my ass. I don't even know if that's how you do this puzzle, but I'm doing the same thing you guys are. Okay. So then two is this one, which looks like a Y. Let's see. It looks like Japanese. A lot of these look like Japanese. All right. And then next is four. And that is the K. Oh my God, I wonder if this whole game is puzzles like this. I love puzzles. Okay, and then last one is three, and that is like the mountains. All right, let's see if the door will open now. Oh no! Did we not do right? Am I bad with, I'm really bad with Roman numerals. So, okay, wait, so this is six, then two, and then this is five? Did I do that right? So it's one, two, three, four, five. Five is blank. So five, I don't know why I use K. That's the symbol for number four. So what comes after that? Which symbol hasn't been claimed yet? Uh, that one's been claimed. That one's been claimed. 
claimed. There we go. Okay, so that was the blank one. Perfect. Well, I'm guessing we did it, considering that it's glowing. Yay, we figured out the first puzzle! I like the all-seeing eye, too. Alright, well, that was relatively easy. That was a great introduction. No, like, explaining needed. No tutorial needed. I like that. It's telling a story, too. I don't know. I love it. All right. Wow, this is totally Legend of Zelda. Look at the fruit! They're butts! Oh my god, now we're in color! It's so cute! The music has changed in everything. Is this the same game? Oh! What the fuck? What do you mean you can't let me through? Sorry, buddy. Orders from the king. He's making us practice standing guard until we get it right. Cause somebody keeps abandoning his post. Not naming any names. Fucking Pierre. Oh my god. Oh, that's Pierre. Oui, oui. Worry not, mon ami. Pierre will not be foiled again. Of this, I am most certain. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a stereotype. <laughs> Uh, look, I got to get to the headquarters and I ain't got all day, so do me a favor and get the hell out of my way. No can do, my dude, but you're more than welcome to chill out and wait until we're done with our guard practice. Arg, you guys are shit. Should I tell ya? Shit! Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's another puzzle there. All right, well, some shit's happening. The guard, we need to get a diversion for the guards. Save stone activated. Okay, so the cute bear stone is our save point. Got that. Oh my god, it's just like Animal Crossing! Sweet butt nut. Oh my god, of course. Ooh, they just pop back up. Look at that. I'm sure we'll need these later. I'm gonna take a bunch. What is this? Wealth, wealthy scouting tips number one, press the Y button to open up your inventory. When you're in, with your inventory open, you can use certain items you've collected with the A button. So let's open up our inventory. Let's use a butt. It just did a fart. Eat this to instantly waft out a sweet, delicious toot. All right, well, we did that. Let's see what the other fruits do. I love how it all looks like paper cutouts. It's so cute. Sour butt nut. Let's see, what do these do? Eat this instantly, rip out a putrid butt nasty fart. I guess we'll have to do that near the guard to make him leave, huh? So that guy can get through? All right. Let's talk to Pierre real quick, see what he has to say. Oh my god, she's so cute. Nobody sneaks past Pierre, not anymore. Pierre can smell Z trouble coming from a mile away. Well. Wait till you smell what I got cooking. What is this? Water fountain under maintenance. Hmm. What do you got to say for yourself? I'd love to let you get through, but we're practicing standing guard at the moment. Rules is rules. All right, you asked for it, bud. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice one. It's times like these and I'm glad I was born without a nose. Well, I know that Pierre has a nose. Let's go do it by him. Hold on, let's see what this is while we're here. Uh, scouting tip number three. Running with the B button is a great way to get some exercise. I just think you're running outdoors only though. Nobody wants you running around and creating a mess inside their house. Got it. So this is B running. It is a little faster. Okay. So, uh -huh, excuse, excuse moi, mademoiselle, but I was afraid I cannot let you pass. Nobody sneaks past Pierre, not anymore. Pierre can smell you trouble coming from a mile away. Well, take this, Pierre. Oops, I should face the other way, huh? Okay. Ugh, repugnant. That is the most heinous foul stench imaginable. None, I mustn't abandon this post, not again. Well, it's laughter and oh, it's too much for Pierre. I must invoke my sacred birthright and surrender at once. And he's gone. All right, you can get through here now, sir. Huh? <laughs> Now's my chance. Oh, I didn't even get to talk to him. Shit. All right, well, I guess we'll go that way too and we'll find, run into him again. Let me see what this sign says down here real quick. Uh, Scotty Center 4, uh, I posted four signs, but I can only get three tips. But it's a really nice looking sign, so I'm just gonna leave it here. All right, well, cool. This looks weird. Like somebody dug it up. All right, well, we can go this way now. 
Should I grab more butt nuts? I don't know. Let's see. What was this back here? Oh, it's just a rock. What is this? It's gross. It's a large, strange plant of some kind. It appears to be sleeping. Better not wake it up. Weird. I have a feeling we're gonna have to wake it up. Heavy breathing. Shit. That's right. I'm fat. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. The only other person around. Come here for a minute, would you? Why? 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 Just get your ass over here. That's why. Okay, okay, fine. Jeez, chill out. That would not make me want to go talk to the person. Listen, I just ran like 20 miles at least. I can't go on anymore. I can barely feel my legs. You gotta get me something delicious to drink so I can get my energy back. You look like you've had your share of delicious things already. The fuck? Well, carry you little twerp ever here at respecting your elders. Just give me a drink before I teach you some manners. All right, all right, cool your jets, man. I'll keep an eye out for something to drink. All right. Well, let's find him his drink. It's a cute house. Could it be in here? The door is locked. Nothing in these barrels here? No. All right. Well, I guess we got to go this way, huh? Oh. Butt juice. Ah, a new customer. Oh, he's cute. Welcome to Big Boy's Butt Juice, home of the world's smelliest butt juice, which is a good thing. I'm Big Boy, the owner of this fine establishment. You don't look very big to me. Oh, trust me, I'm big where it counts. Big in my desire to serve happy customers. Now what can I do for you? How much for a glass of your finest butt juice? Ha, your money is no good here. That's not quite how it works here at Big Boy's. It's free of charge. I really just enjoy seeing people drink my delicious butt juice. It puts a smile on my face. All you have to do is bring me the ingredients and I'll mix them up for you in a top secret mixing lab. For one glass of the world famous butt juice, I'll need one butt nut of either flavor and two sugars. That's it. So feel free to stop by any time. I've got the ingredients if you're feeling thirsty. All right, so we need two sugars. Is this sugar right here? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's only one sugar though. Let's see what he says. Okay. I only have one sugar though. Can't hand it over then. Okay, well, let's find out that other sugar. Oops, let me get that cursor off the screen. Okay. Where could there be another bag of sugar hanging around? Probably near this house. Wow, someone's been digging for something here. Door is locked. Hi, I probably have to go this way, huh? Could you do me a huge favor and not walk this way? Thanks. He doesn't have a nose, so I can't fart on him. I guess we'll go this way. Let's see what's back here. Hopefully more sugar. Oh, who that? Excuse me, darling. Could I bother you for a moment of your time? Sure, why not? You seem like a perfectly safe stranger to be around. Tad. I beg your pardon, little miss, but I'm a bit of a predicament, and I was wondering if I could help. Maybe you could help. What seems to be the problem? You see, my boyfriend Gil done told me he saw a dirt guppy splish splashing around these parts, but I can't seem to find the little bugger. If you can wrangle him up here with that shovel and bring him back to me, I just might let you keep it, you hear? Perhaps you'll have better luck than old Tad. You look like the kind of gal who knows a thing or two about dirt fishing. I do, but can you remind me what it is and how to do it? Ha ha, if you need a reminder of that sign right there over there, goes over the basics. I wrote it myself in case I forgot. Uh, what exactly does a dirt guppy look like? Hmm, I ain't too sure about that to be honest with you, ma'am. I ain't never caught one before. The only thing I ever have done about, and uh, heard about dirt guppies is that they like to sleep under bi real big rocks, whatever that means. Alright, let's check out the sign. Dirt Fishing Guide by Tad. If you got yourself a shovel and can equip it from the old inventory, once you done got that equipped, you can go digging around with that there B button. But you're gonna have a real hard time digging if something's in your way, like a rock or a tree or something. Alright, well, well, let's take this. And is there any really big rocks around here? Here's a big rock. Let's see, it was a B button. No, oh, we have to go to inventory first, and then. Okay. What? Okay. Alright, cool. And then. Oh, we can't dig that. Close? No, I can't get too close to the rock. This is just like Animal Crossing, I love it. Uh, are we sure the dirt guppies are even a thing? This feels strange. 
What if we're just digging holes for no reason? Don't mind me, just digging holes looking for a dirt guppy. Here, rocks and trees, you said. Will it just pop up if I find it? Can't go past that. Let me check the sign again in case I'm missing something here. Oh, I have to unequip it. All right, well, it's fine. Here's another big rock. Oh, we found one. How do I? Oh, okay, we got it. Okay, let's go give him that dirt guppy. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, hand him over with the X button. No, no, up. Okay. That just gets rid of it, okay. I guess I have to unequip this first, huh? But, okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, I'm trying that. makes it go away. Okay, so the but X button, okay, there it is. Okay, so A to confirm. Right. Oh, would you look at that? You caught him. That's some damn fine dirt fishing right there. You're a natural born fisher lady. I could have done that better myself. Now, if you kindly hand over that shovel uh, to old Uncle Tad. A week, really gonna make me do that? Ha ha, I'm just inking your chain. Go on and keep that one, but take good care of her, you hear? That's the last digging shovel I got. What about the one you're holding right now? You mean old Tessa here? Nah, she ain't for digging. Tessa's my beaten shovel for when fools step out of line and need to be put back in their place. Speaking of which, I'm gonna head back and show this to here, Gert Dirk Guppy, to my boyfriend, Gil. Feel free to stop in and say hello. Well, I guess that's settled. I still need a sugar, though. Can I come in and get a sugar? Can I borrow a cup of sugar, Tad? Do they got sugar? Do they got sugar? Yeah, they got sugar. When off it ain't the dirt fishing champ herself, welcome to the fishing hut. Hey Gil, come here and meet our new friend. <laughs> Tad and, oh is it? Yeah, it's definitely Tad. Tad and Gil. Morning, miss. Gil, you get that tight little ass over here and give this little lady a proper introduction. You're making Tessa angry. So, sorry, Tad. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance, miss. Ha ha, Gil's a little shy. He's a bottom, you Oh my god, this is a little bit excessive. Tad, that's our private business. Bwah ha 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 ha. I do apologize for the mess, miss. I didn't have too much time to tidy up. Pay no mind to that, darling. Feel free to have a look around. You're welcome to anything you happen upon, and, and our home is your home. Thank you. I'm going to take one of these sugars here. All right. What else do you got? Anything good? Some foods, drinks. Can't take those drinks though to get to my friend. I do apologize for the mess, miss. I didn't have too much time to tidy up. Oh my god, you're fine. Oops. All right, all right, it's fine. Don't worry about it, dude. Ugh. You just gonna follow me around your house? Two separate beds. Ooh, banjo. All right. Well, I got what I needed. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right. So that was down here. All right. Give me some butt juice, sir. Okay. So. Ah, perfect. This is everything needed. One fresh squeeze butt juice coming right up. Oh my god, no. He's going into an outhouse. All right. That's gross. <laughs> oh my god. This is excessive! I like the way he's drawn now. And here you go. Enjoy. Please come again. You received a sweet butt juice from Big Boy. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go give our butt juice to our bossy, not even friend. 
Is that butt juice you have there? I'm cuckoo for butt juice. Hand that shit over with the X button. Oh, sweet heavens, butt juice, come to daddy. Drinking that good butt juice. Aw, oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. I feel like a new man. Do I get a reward for that? A reward? Your reward is knowing that you help somebody in need. You good for nothing. Wait. Bandana, yellow bag, brown boots. You must be a new Spiral Scout recruit. Why didn't you say so? Spiral Scouts? Yeah, the Spiral Scouts. Oh, okay, thanks for clearing that up. It's been a while since we've seen a new recruit around here. Scoutmaster Wealth is gonna flip. You need to complete your initiation trial to become a true scout, though. The headquarters is up just a bit uh, north of here. So let's get a move on. Wait, so he's coming with us? And hurry up about it, we ain't got all day. All right, well, shit. Okay, so now he's just following me. Still can't get in this house, okay. All right, well, I guess we're gonna travel north so we can become a true spiral scout. Um, should we take some more butt juice for the road? Nah, we don't have any more sugar. Um, all right, well, I guess next time in the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we'll check it out. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see more spiral scouts. Um, and thank you to the devs for sending me a copy of this game. And please be sure to that subscribe button and I'll see you guys all then. Bye everybody.